Hey guys, for today's video we are going to be doing part 3 of my 60 second hairstyles video series. Every time I post one of these videos you guys seem to really like them so I'm excited because I like them too. I need a quick hairstyle just like the rest of the world so if you haven't seen part 1 I'm going to put it right here and I'm also going to put part 2 right here or you can just head down to my description box and click the link below. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So today's video is super special because I am partnering with Shark. So excited to be partnering with them for today's video and it is in collaboration with their Shark Flex Style. Yeah! They sent it for me to test out and to show you guys and I could not be more excited. So let me wash my hair, come back, and we will get started. Okay, just got in the shower. I did not wash my face so hopefully my makeup doesn't look really bad. But let's take a look here and see what we've got. On the front of the box it says faster dry time versus the Dyson Air Wrap. I do have a product of Sharks already. It's their blow dryer and I love it so much. It says here it increases smoothness and shine, decreases frizz and flyaways, no heat damage, and a lightweight design. In the box you get an auto wrap curler, an oval brush, a paddle brush, and a styling concentrator. So inside the box you have this like little styling guide. It does have a QR code that you can scan and be taken to their website to look at tutorials of people using this. So let's open it up. Here's what it looks like. Okay, it feels very, very high end. It does not feel cheap. So we do have two wraps that you wrap your hair around. I like this. It's like a, a big round brush. So now here's the paddle brush attachment and then here I am comparing the paddle brush to the round brush. Since my hair is very wet right now, I'm just going to go in with the nozzle, put it on and dry it. See the lock button? You put it on. And then to take it off, you just press the lock button down and it comes right off. This is, this is interesting. Oh, oh, this is cool. Okay, look, so we have another button here. You can press this down. Ooh, whoa. Cause I was gonna say that would be weird doing your hair like this. <laughs> oh, and this spins, this is cool. So here are the four buttons. You have the on and off switch. You have the heat button, which has three settings. Then you have the speed button, which is also three settings. And then you have the cool button. So first I'm going in with the concentrator attachment and I really like this one. It's small, it's sleek, it gets the job done. And if you don't want this nozzle on, you don't have to have it on. You can definitely take it off. Just click the button underneath and it comes off. So then it's just a little drier like this. Okay, I'm gonna try the round brush and just see what it does. Doop, doop. I'm just doing a quick little test on a small section to try this brush out and I am so excited to use this you guys. It's going to be the perfect blowout brush. It is so easy to use, like so easy. Okay, I just did one piece right here. It feels very soft and that took like no time. This was really easy to use. I like how big this is. I like how round it is. So now I'm trying the paddle brush. I could definitely see myself using this attachment a lot, especially if I want straight hair. It's the perfect tool. You have a blow dryer and you have a brush all in one, and it's honestly fabulous. It just glides right through my hair. It feels very soft. It doesn't tug on my hair. The bristles are just very, just, I don't know. It's like cushiony when you put it up against your head. It's not like super hard or anything. So far, I really like all the attachments. Um, but I'm most excited about these. So we're going to use, we're going to try these. So you can see how my hair just goes right onto the auto wrap curlers and it's just so easy to use you guys. Anyone can use this. This is great for all hair types. I have really fine hair surprisingly. Um, I just have a lot of it but it's really fine. So it's really hard to find hair tools that work well with my hair but this is doing a really good job. Okay here are the curls so I'm just gonna hit them with some hairspray real quick. So they're not meant to be you know super spirally or anything like that. Just meant to give you, you know, a nice little blowout type of look. And I love how this turned out. If you were considering the Dyson, don't. Stop. Don't consider it. Go with the Shark. It is the exact same thing at a more affordable price point. You will not be disappointed. So be sure to check out the link in my description box if you're interested. And yeah, let's go ahead and get back into the video of doing 60 second hairstyles. For this first hairstyle, you want to grab a section of hair from each side of your head 
and you're going to take those two sections, combine them right in the middle and just tie them off with a clear elastic. Then you're going to put your fingers up through that little hole that you see here. You're going to turn it either to the left or the right, and you're just going to spread apart the hole where your fingers are. And you're just going to pull that bottom section of hair through. Then you're going to take your hair and just do a reverse topsy tail. That way your hair tie is not poking out. Make sure you tighten it. And that is it. It is so cute, so easy. I love this ponytail. For this next hairstyle, create a side ponytail. Pull that ponytail down a couple inches. Create a hole above the ponytail. And you're going to flip your ponytail up through that little hole that we just created. Then you're going to take your ponytail. You're going to pull it down. And then you're going to create a new hole to the side. And you're just going to flip your ponytail up through that one. Then just keep repeating. Pull your ponytail down. And then on the opposite side, you're going to create a new hole and you're just going to flip your hair up through and then pull your ponytail down. And then on the opposite side, create a hole, flip your ponytail up through and you just do this as many times as you can. So I have showed this one on my YouTube before, but it's such a good one. It is the perfect 60 second hairstyle and I don't have my timer going on my phone, but um, yeah, this one was like 45 seconds probably if I had to guess and it looks like a fishtail. For this next one, you want to just create a three strand braid up at the top. So you're crossing your sides over your middle section. Do the three strand braid all the way down. Tie it off with a hair tie. Now you want to use a topsy tail tool for this next one. You're just going to stick it up into the top of the braid. Take a section of hair from behind. Then you're just going to pull it through that topsy tail tool and then just pull that topsy tail tool down and it pulls it through the braid. Stick in that topsy tail tool again. Grab a section from behind. Pull it through. Pull the topsy tail tool down and that's really it. Do this as many times as you want. So you don't have to use the topsy tail tool. You could just use your fingers to open the top of the braid and pull your hair through, but I find this tool easier and I will link these in my description box. So once you finish pulling your hair through, I did it four times. I'm just taking my pop, my pop, my poppy pin and pushing it up through the braid. Gosh, I can't talk. So you can't see it hanging out of my hair, but it looks like two waterfall braids on each side. It took longer than a minute. I'm sorry, but it's cute. For the next hairstyle, I put my hair up in a ponytail, leaving the front pieces out. And I just split my ponytail into two sections and I just twisted them around each other. Um, a simple twist all the way down until I reached the bottom. Then I just kind of pancaked it a little bit to make it a little bit more full. Then I just took it, wrapped it around the back and then around the front. And then just once I got to the ends, I tucked the ends up underneath. I took a hair tie, just kind of smushed it down and wrapped that hair tie around it. Then with the hair up front, I took a section, brushed it, twisted it, and then just wrapped it around the base of the bun. And then I bobby pinned it. Did the same thing with the other section up front, just kind of smoothed it back, twisted it, and then wrapped it around the base of the bun. And this bun, it was really easy. It literally took no time to do. It's super cute. And just a little twist up front and parting my hair down the middle just makes it a little different. And then for the last hairstyle, split your hair into two sections. You're going to cross them over each other and you're just going to tie a knot just as if you were tying your shoelaces. So create your knot and then just pull it tight up against your head. With one of your ends hanging out, you're just going to twist it around your finger and then you're going to take that twist and begin wrapping it around the base of your bun. Make sure you just keep twisting as you go around. Once you reach the ends, hold on to them. Do the same thing with the opposite section. Twist it, wrap it around the base of the bun. Be sure to tuck your ends up underneath. Then you're just going to hold on to it and then grab a hair tie and just wrap it around that whole bun that we just created. If you have any ends hanging out like I do, you can just tuck it back into that hair tie. I did not use a single bobby pin for this. You can stretch it out if you want. Don't stretch it out too much or you will need bobby pins, but this is it. I love low buns. I love high buns. I love messy buns. So cute. So that is it. That is the video. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. Huge shout out to Shark for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the link in my description box. And I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah! Bye.